Welcome to Nollywood Radio France. My special guest today is Pascal Atuma. Pascal Atuma, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Stephen. I'm, I'm, I'm very humbled and honored to be here. Very Let happy. Uh, um, thanks so much for joining us too because I've been looking for you. I see that Pascal is very busy, very, very busy. Yeah. yeah I'm, I'm, I'm easy to find. It's just, uh, it's just a time is the only problem. Okay. <laughs> easy to find, easy, easy. Now, easy um, I'd like you to introduce yourself to our listeners. Oh, okay. Uh, hello, hello, my people. So, my name is Pascal Atoma, born in Nigeria, Canadian citizen based in Hollywood. I train in Hollywood and I play both the Nollywood and Hollywood industry. So, I'm a writer, director, producer, and comedian, and I act in all my movies. Um, so, we do productions for the world market and we do productions for the African market. So, while we're writing these stories, we tend to, you know, structure the stories depending on which market we are targeting. So that's why that's that's why I'm simple. I'm your own person from Nigeria, Abia State born, born and raised in Nigeria actually. Then I went to uh, studied engineering at University of Port Harcourt, civil engineering. Then I came over to the US and I studied uh, theater. I came dancing acting college, the Actors Conservatory of Southwest Region of the United States. So I finished from school May 17th of 2002, and I moved to Hollywood May 22nd five days after graduation and uh, since then it's been history we're still writing it now describe your early encounter with nollywood as a young actor and its most problematic aspects today as you see it uh, coming into nollywood uh being trained in the u.s in texas i moved to california where i started my acting career I was introduced into Nollywood by two people. Um, Stanley Ikogo, who was a producer with uh, um, the Fortune people, the Fortune, uh, you know, the TV show Fortunes that was done by Zebe Jiro and Co. He was a producer with them. And then his friend Austin Sharp Sharp, Austin in Dubai in Houston. So Austin introduced me to, uh, Stanley told me to Austin. Now Austin now found out that I was playing Hollywood. And he said, my brother, our own country need people like you. You can do your Hollywood, but the place you can make a very serious impact is in Nollywood. So now they introduced me into Nollywood, and I went on. By then, I already did my first film only in America, which was on the Hollywood market. Then I did another one, Hurricane in Rose Garden. They said, okay, this is all good. It's beautiful to see your films in Blockbuster, Walmart, but we need one that our people can buy from the African market. That's when I went and I did my American North one. Mm. So when I did American Nurse one, so that's how we got into Nollywood. And then when we got into Nollywood newly, it was still a, it's still a growing industry to today, mm. but things have changed a lot. Now, you can't just do any crap, throw any crap together and sell it. Now that we, Nollywood have professionals now. We have trained professionals. We have trained directors, trained producers, trained writers, trained sound people, gaffers, makeup artists. People are not specializing. All like before, we have one person can do it all, you know. So you see, most of our directors coming out to get training from uh, LA Film School, the New York Film Academy. You know, people trying to get acting classes are already established professionals. So Nollywood is evolving. It's evolving and it's growing, and I, I'm very impressed. And I thank God that I'm a part of Nollywood. Now let's talk about your movies and uh, which of them would you say made more impact in terms of uh, viewers in the United States, Europe, and uh, African countries, precisely Nigeria. My American nurse. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Why? 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 Why do you say yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah, my American nurse. You know, because you know, like um, a lot of young ladies in Africa. When you go, the, the story of American North is not only uh, related to Ar Nigerians or Africans. It's, it's spread into China, Mexico, you know, the third world countries, you know, many other places that want to come to America for greener pasture. So you notice whereby a young lady of about 18 years or 20 will get married to a man of 45 or 50 who lives in America and will leave the boyfriend in Nigeria who's 22 or 23 that is actually doing good because she wants to come to America. 
and not knowing that she, her motive is to come to America, the man's motive is about a young, beautiful woman. Bring the ma woman to America. Let her become a nurse or a medical doctor or one of the medical professions that is guaranteed to make money in the U.S. Work and make money for him so he can relax and do whatever he wants to do. And he can go home and get a cheap sense title, build houses, whereas the woman is working hard here. So the story, by God's grace, when I told it, it hit home. It is actually told the story of the life of a lot of people, so people can watch it and actually see themselves part of their lives in the movie. So actually, so far by God's grace, it's been the highest selling movie, African movie, in the United States. The only movie that they've been comparing it to is uh, Also in London. Okay, that's, that's... Yeah, Also in London is the only movie that could be compared to the way American Nuts did. And since then, I've been trying to beat American Nuts but it's been, uh, <laughs> we're working, it's not been easy. But I'm sure our movie, either Okoto or Who's the Man Will Be It. But why did, why, why did you put it out for free on the internet? Because I watched it. I, I, we didn't put it out for free. Oh, really? We've been fine. You see, that's what is, the, the, the greatest problem that you notice that face is piracy. Yeah, because I was surprised. Yeah, it's piracy, you know. the. The, the only sites that you can watch it on the internet are the sites that are not an organized site, okay. like not an industry or a company that you can go after, okay. right? i give you an example. When they had it on YouTube, YouTube is a professional site. We went after YouTube and we took it out, Okay. right? When we, they had it on a couple of other websites, we, our attorney went after them and they took it out. But that's a website, Pop and Mom, you know, Kosh, Mushroom Cockroach website. Now you don't know where these people are, <laughs> you know? So where are you going to find them? Some of them are somewhere in Nigeria in one village, some are somewhere in a village in Ghana. You know, they just find a way to get a movie on the internet, they get it on the internet. Some of them are not even doing, doing it to harm you. They're not even making money. They just love a movie and put it out there. Now, those sites, you don't know how to control those sites. You see what I'm saying? You don't know how to even reach the owners of those sites. That's the only site that you can find a movie, not my movie, but any site, like Iroko TV or YouTube or any sign that is established, an established company, you cannot find our movies. Yeah. So we will we'll, we'll go after the money movie. Now, you you said it was, uh, it sold a lot of uh, copies. That's on DVD, right? Is, is yeah, that... on DVD, yeah, in the US and Canada. Okay. Uh, how, um, how many copies did you sell? I mean, your company or, on, on that very movie? Yeah, it was released by Sangha Entertainment. Uh, okay. We sold more than six to seven hundred thousand copies mm. on that two days. Yeah, wow. and it's still selling. Up to now, it's still selling. I where can I buy it? <laughs> I I want to watch it. Keep it. Uh, I've already watched the pirated uh, one, but I have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can get it. On, you can get it online. Online, okay. If you guys don't have it in France, you can get it on. There's a lot of companies online that offer okay. it. They will ship okay. it to you. Okay. Yeah, but uh, another thing too is uh. Since we, I'm talking to you, I can I can ship it to you for your Christmas. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's for, for the Christmas yeah. here. Yeah. Okay. I can ship you. I can ship you American nuts for an American nuts too. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's yeah. What what I have time, I'll I'll, I'll ship you. Send me address. I'll ship it to you just for you. Thanks. As as, as the boss. Oh my God! I'm flattered. <laughs> I'm flattered. <laughs> now. Pascal Atuma is a very busy man, very, very busy. Now, you talked of only one movie, but there are so many. You said this next year we're having four movies, four, four for us. Yeah. It, yeah. Uh, you, you're having Okoto, the messenger, you're having the mechanic, who is the man, you're having mm. the trace, the sexy boy, and uh, the sexy boy in America, and even promising also again that there will be two again that will be shot in 2014. Where do you get all this energy? Do you have time to sleep, Pascal? I don't have another job. Okay. <laughs> this is it. This is what I do from morning to morning. I don't have another job. Oh. And by God's grace, I'm not interested in another job. You know, what happened is that uh, those movies you're looking at, we didn't shoot all of them this year. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, we shot The Trace ending of 2011. But it was done for the universal market, so the post production took us almost about eight months mm. to get it right because we had a lot of big stars in it. Mm -hmm. And when they put their names on the line, you have to defend it with the production. Mm -hmm. So if you look at the trace, we have uh, Billy D. Williams, then we have uh, Lynn Whitfield, mm -hmm. 
Then we have uh, uh, Chico Benimor mm -hmm. uh, from Half and Half. We have uh, Brian Hooks, Stan Jimmy, Lad Dog Williams, and a lot of the American stars. Mm -hmm. So when you're playing with American stars, you have to defend your name and defend their name. So we took time to do that. Well, it was actually shot in 2011, but now we just finished the post-production. Mm -hmm. That's why you see it just coming out now. Okay. Then uh, Who is the Man? We shot in 2000, uh, 2011 too. And went into, so what we do is sometimes we just shoot and then we go into post-production and it takes a long time because there's a lot of movies in post-production. Mm -hmm. the, the Okoto, uh, Okoto we shot before who was the man. Sexy Boy is the only one that we shot this year. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. So we, what we try to do is we try to do one movie every six months. Okay. Yeah, one movie every six months. But now, Okoto, The Messenger, and who we already have playing on African magic all over Africa, mm -hmm. DSTV. Mm -hmm. So now we are, we are holding on to it, not to release on DVD, because once we release it on DVD, it will spread all over the world. Mm -hmm. So we're giving African magic their own time to use it and maximize their profit on TV, everywhere, like in, it's playing in Kenya, South Africa, Ghana, Nigeria, Sierra Leone, Everywhere they have English, and some of them they are subtitling into their own languages, right? Okay. So that's why. So now, about next year, by then they would have done it. All they want to do with TV, both OHTV London too. We have it in London too, playing OHTV and Hollywood movies. Mm -hmm. So now we cannot go on DVD. Okay. Like the guys in the US, they've been running the commercials of Okoto and Who Is the Man on their DVDs coming out. Mm -hmm. But the customers keep asking, "Where is the movie coming? Where is the movie coming?" They don't know the business behind it. They just want to see the movie. <laughs> you see, mm -hmm. so I keep telling them it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Right? I give you an example: American Nuts One and Two. Yeah. Even though we released in the U.S. and Canada uh, and America, the U.S. and Canada a few years ago, right? We are just releasing it on DVD in Nigeria this week. Okay. American Nuts One and Two. It's just coming out DVD in Nigeria this week because now we maximize profit profit over here. And on TV, now we can go on DVD because you know, once the Alaba Market Boys release it, it's everywhere in the world. Mm. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's what it is. Okay. You know, so we don't do the productions like back to back like that. Although we do take breaks. Okay, okay. And then there is a new one, All Things. Um, I think it's going to be screened. Is that, I think it's okay. a movie. Uh, All Things is a movie that was done by the, the church, the Christ Embassy. Okay. The Christ Embassy Church with uh, uh, in affiliation with John Uche. I don't know if you know about John Uche. Yeah, yeah, okay. he's, uh, Uche, uh, uh, he's a director, the, 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 very yeah, good the director. Mm -hmm. So he wrote the script for all things, and he could produce it with the church, the Christ Embassy. They just hired me to play the lead actor. Okay. Yeah, so it's not my production, you know. So we shot it in Washington D.C. this year, and they are doing their first premiere in uh, Phoenix, Arizona, come Saturday, this coming Saturday. 24th in Phoenix. Mm. That's when I do the first premium. I'm going to make an appearance there. Okay. Yeah, so it's not, but it's a very good Christian movie. Okay. It's a very good Christian movie. Yeah, he teaches about faith and, uh, and, uh, um, faith and, uh, you know, staying strong and, you know, coming back from and forgiving people. Okay, okay. Yeah. Now, You've been listening to Nollywood Radio France. Keep checking on this website for new episodes of Nollywood Radio France. Like us on Facebook. You can also log in to our website www.nollywoodfrance.com.